What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, X-Man & Co. Today we're making ice bind. Not just one, we're making two. One smoked, one unsmoked. It's a German dish, we need to figure out which one is the best. Ice bind is a German culinary dish of pickled ham hock, usually cured and slightly boiled. But guys, I'm not here to bore you today. Let's get straight into this cook. It's a very easy cook, very straightforward. We only have a few ingredients that we're going to need to do this, and it's going to be great. Let's check it out. We've got some ground pepper, flaky salt, garlic, vinegar, very important ingredient here today. A little bit of oil that we might use, and then our two beautiful pork knuckles. What's pork knuckles? Well, these guys are our ice pines. We're going to use them today. It's going to be brilliant. few things to remember. If you want to make sure that your pork knuckle or your ice pine is going to be nice and crispy, we need to prep these beautiful guys. We need to stick the skin, make sure that there's nice holes so we can add the salt and therefore make sure that all those liquids can come out before we put it on the fire. We're going to do this dish today on the open fire. It's going to be amazing. There's a few ways to prep the skin. You can use a needle and just make a thousand holes or Alternatively, some guys even cut it from one side to another, just about one or two mils in, just so we can get all of those liquids to come out. Another way is to use a sharp knife and just prick it all over. We're going to use a small Stanley knife today. We're going to prick it all over, and hopefully that's going to do the job. One of our biggest enemies when it comes to crackling is moisture. If you've got moisture in the skin, you're not going to get that crackling that you so badly desire. So, guys, make sure that... We get rid of all of the moisture of this beautiful pork knuckle that we have here. That's our unsmoked, and here's our smoked guy. So, same story over there. There you go. Now, guys, if your butcher didn't clean it properly, you might have some hair here that we need to get rid of. So, let's do that quickly. Normally, you would use a little bit of a fire to do that, but today we're just going to cut it's slightly off like that. There you go. That's quite important. Once we're happy that all the hair's off the skin, that's nicely clean, then um, we're ready to go to the next step. We like to add garlic cloves to our ice pines right at the bottom. So we're going to prep that quickly and then move over to the skin. We just want to remove the skin from these cloves. You don't have to smash them. We like to smash them. It's quite easier to do that. We also believe smashing them releases all the flavors. So as I said before, guys, we want to make sure we've got a beautiful crispy skin here today. And the only way we can do that is to make sure that we get rid of that moisture in the skin. We're going to poke it with a little Stanley knife and then add some salt. Let's do that. What we do to the one, we're going to do to the other. So let's move over to our unsmoked ice pine. As you can see, the skin's been butchered over here a bit. We're very sad about that, but we're still going to make this guy work. Basically, the idea is the more holes you make, the better your crust is going to be. Right, the next step is to add some vinegar to the skin and the whole ice pine, basically. So we're just going to do that. It doesn't have to be much. We're going to just use it. It's going to dry it out a little bit and at the same time, give it that little tangy flavor. We want to make some incisions just so we can get some of these garlic cloves in there. There you go. Now, like I said before, you don't have to do this. It's entirely up to you if you want to or not. We just really enjoy the garlic flavor. So we're going to make sure it goes in there. And once again, you decide how much you want to put in there or how little. If you want to add some other spices, you're more than welcome. We've got our garlic cloves in our ice pine. So now it's time to spice the outside. We're just going to use salt and pepper Ice pine is really very flavorful and therefore you don't need to add any special spices and stuff. We're just going to keep it simple. Salt and pepper, that's all you need. It's going to be beautiful. We like pepper and therefore we are quite liberal with it. This ground pepper that we're using here today, it's going to make sure it goes all over. Same with the salt, rub it in there. A lot of guys do the salt a day before, leave it in the fridge. And I have to be honest, we've got some other videos about that where we compared which gives you the best crust and it definitely does make a difference. Go check it out. Today we're just going to wing it and we're going to go straight for the fire. We're going to let these guys rest with the salt. That's most probably going to get rid of some of that liquid, that moisture that we spoke about. We're going to get the fire ready and then we'll be back for these bad boys.
This next step you don't have to do. It's just we like to make sure that the skin stays right at the bottom, at least for the first 100, 110 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some skewers that we have here, and right at the bottom, we're gonna pull the skin down, and then we're gonna go through on the one side. You might have to make a small incision there in order for your skewer to go through. Right, what we do on the one side, we're gonna do on the other side. We're gonna actually use the skewer and just go through this guy as well. There you go, we're gonna have these guys right next to each other, and then one at the back. Right guys, there you have it. Our two beautiful smoked and unsmoked pork knuckle ice pine, ready for the Weber. As I said before, Weber 140 degrees Celsius. That's perfect for anywhere between 90 to 110 minutes. Then we're gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you something else. I'm putting a thermometer inside this Weber where we're gonna let it just rest for about five minutes get this whole weaver up to temperature before we put these beautiful bad boys inside there. We've got two beautiful ice spines here on the grill. We're gonna give them 100 minutes. We're gonna check up on them. See you guys in a bit. It's been an hour 45 minutes in a weaver, 150 degrees Celsius, anything 120, 250. Now it's time to really do our magic and make sure that these skin on both of these beautiful pork knuckles, ice spines, comes out perfectly. Two very important things. We've got some vinegar here. We're gonna rub that all over the skin and that's really gonna make sure that it's nice and crispy, together with the high heat that we're gonna introduce into the Weber. So you wanna go as hot as you can. We're gonna do that for about 30 minutes and then 30 minutes later, boys and girls, it's gonna be beautiful. That's the sound we're after, piping hot. Let's give it its own time to enjoy. For you guys that is not aware, we've started a membership. Please go and check it out. We'll really appreciate your help there. And for the guys that don't, we still love you to bits. Let's carry on with this cook. 30 minutes in the high oven in the Weber, and I think these guys are ready to come off. Beautiful. Right guys, that moment, we need to check these bad boys out. We've got the smoke on the right and the unsmoked on the left. Just a pro tip there, if you leave it in your fridge overnight, go check my other videos out. With the salt and the, that whole process that I do explain over there, you'll see that you will get much better results as far as crispiness. But today we're doing the crispiness and we're making sure, trying to find out actually which one is better than the other. Let's go check it out. You guys can hear there, we've got a little bit of uh, Crispiness over there, the smoked one as well, not as good as the unsmoked. Let's cut into these bad boys. Look at the juices coming out of there. That's just brilliant. Let's cut into the smoked ice pie. Mm, there you go, look at that. There's a piece of garlic as well. It looks absolutely divine. Right guys, let's cut a small piece of each just to try it out. Smoked versus unsmoked. Smoked, cheers boys and girls. Obviously beautiful, fantastic. Now unsmoked. Guys, this is difficult. It's really difficult. I don't want to waste your time and have another bite, but it feels like I should. They are really so close to each other. The smoky guy does have a little bit of more smokiness to it. So guys, it's entirely up to you. If you want a little bit more smoky, do go for that guy. Otherwise, unsmoked, if that's all you can get your hands on, there's nothing wrong with it. I think we've just proven that both are pretty much on par. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.